How's it going guys? Today I am going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to enable internet sharing on your Mac. And I am on OS X Lion, but I'm sure these steps are pretty similar for Snow Leopard too. I don't know about Leopard, but definitely Snow Leopard. Alright, so basically if you don't know what internet sharing is, it's basically turning your computer into a Wi-Fi router if it's already connected to the internet in some way or another. So why is this useful? It's great for if you're in college and you know most colleges don't allow you to actually have your own Wi-Fi router and you'll get in trouble if you set one up so this is good you can kind of get around it through a loophole. So basically what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Mac obviously that has a Wi-Fi card but more importantly you're gonna need to be connected to the Ethernet or I guess if you're have your internet hooked up through Firewire somehow. I don't know how you do that. But so, alright, here's how we're going to do this. I started with my Wi-Fi off, but I think it could go either direction. I don't think it really matters. So you're going to want to go into Settings, System Preferences, and then find Internet and Wireless, and go to Sharing. And then from here, you're going to look down the list, and there's Internet Sharing. And go to options. So if you see here, it says share your connection from, and there's a drop down menu. It's got Bluetooth, I guess, if you have a Bluetooth connection, Firewire, or Wi Fi. The only one that's really useful is going to be Ethernet. So select Ethernet, and then this little two computers using, well, obviously, you're just going to want Wi Fi. So you can connect to your game console or you know your phone if you have an iPhone or an iPad or something like that that you might want to use Wi Fi off of. So choose Wi-Fi here, sharing your connection from Ethernet. If you go to Options, it's got all your stuff. So network name, J. Greco's MacBook Pro, that's fine. Kind of keeps it under the radar. Channel, if you have a device that you know can do wireless N, you can use one of these bottom channels. I actually prefer to do that with my iPhone 4 because then I know that not many devices except for the newer ones can actually access these channels, and so it keeps it a little bit... Um, lower, you know, under the radar, that sort of thing. Security, it'll by default have no security, but I like to use web security, not the strongest, but that way people can't just piggyback off your connection. So you just pick a five character password if you're doing 40-bit, and so I just picked a random one, and then hit OK. And then it's going to ask you if uh, you approve these changes, just type in your password, say yeah. And so from here, you're actually ready to enable internet sharing. So you click yeah on internet sharing and it's going to say you must turn Wi-Fi on. Alright, turn that on and then it's going to give you this little warning. Are you sure you want to turn on internet setting, sharing? And you know it gives you a disclaimer blah 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 started. And if you look up in this right hand corner there's actually this little icon and it's like your airport icon but it's got an arrow in it. And that means that your internet sharing is turned on. So basically your computer is in mini Wi-Fi mode, which is kind of cool. It's nice. It's a good thing to be able to have. You can surf on your iPhone whenever your MacBook is on. And so, yeah, that's about it. There's one catch to this, and that's that you need to remember to disable internet sharing if you're going to be turning your MacBook off or sleeping it even. Because it, you can close the lid and it will not sleep as long as internet sharing is on. So... Just remember that and give it a try, and this is part of my new tutorial series. And so leave a comment actually saying what you want me to do a tutorial on next, something that you're curious on how to do, maybe. And it could be MacBook, it could be just OS X in general, how to write an Apple script, how to use Automator, um, you know, something with an iPhone, maybe how to jailbreak your iPhone something like that. So let me know and let me know if you have any problems with this or any questions in general. Alright, see you later.